Welcome to Footy Footy Foot, the footy show. And with me <laughs> tonight, special guest host Geraldine Hickey from Triple R's Breakfast. Thanks for having me. Ideally, what I would have done there is said your credit and then your name, but yeah, I sure. butchered that. We've also got from Triple J, Jess Perkins. Hey, so much. And from the Don't You Know Who I Am podcast, Mr. Josh Earl. We've got a range of, of teams followed here. You're a bomber supporter, Geraldine. Yep, go the go the D's. Oh, <laughs> no, D's go the D's. D's. Oh, I jumped on the D's bandwagon for the final series, um, and what a disappointing result. Yeah, me too. But yeah, I, no, but my team is definitely the bombers. But you were in AFLW, the D's. Correct. What a yeah, man, yep. such a what a tapestry you weave. I know. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Josh is a, a Roos supporter. I do go for North Melbourne, yes. And Not Jess. many of you are around, there's, though, No, there? there's like eight of us. It's oh. really easy to get into the games. It's good. <laughs> you guys just got like a group chat going? We can go on the one minivan. Yeah, that's, that's cute. You know, my brother-in-law became a North Melbourne supporter because it, the membership was cheaper. Yeah. It's like, it makes economical <laughs> sense. My son, my elder son, wanted to change to Collingwood, and I said, no, nah, you can't get into the games. Go for the Roos. We'll no. get in. It's good. Nice. That is smart. Yeah. Jess, you weren't so smart. You went for the pies. Yes. Passionately, no follow-up questions, please. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the captain? <laughs> Good bloke. Yeah. <laughs> so he is. Pendles. Oh, yeah. Well Don't ask me to name another player. And also, Josh told me who the captain was before we started. Yeah. Hey, Jess. Yes. Name another player. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Mason. Mason. What his last name is? Mason. <laughs> Mason, Mason. We got a real treat for you later <laughs> in the show. Um, yeah, someone very close to the club is coming in. Oh, so. great. Also, can I ask one more question? What is your captain's full name? Scott mm. Pendlebury. Ah, oh. well done. You are a true fan. <laughs> oh, that's really yes. well done. Thank you. The Brown, though, was uh, uh, this week. Yep. Do you know that? Yep. And, re- and there was a. Com- I, I looked at the Mamma Mia article of the best and worst dress, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously. Well, there was a, a Collingwood player who came second. Yeah, not first, though, did he? No, no so. that's true. I, I'm struggling to remember his name now. Brody so. Grundy. No. Brody oh, Grundy. A, he didn't come second, though, did he? Who oh, was no, still side bottom. Still, still side bottom. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good name. Yeah, so obviously, <laughs> early on, we're setting our credentials as a, a real, <laughs> you know, diehard footy fan show. You're a bomber supporter. Go Dees. <laughs> 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 Do you love this time of year as a footy fan? Uh, yeah, like if my team was in there, sure. Right, but as a neutral, not, not into it that much. Then it's, oh yeah, you, you can find some enjoy, enjoyment in it. Like if you jump on a bandwagon, like I think the D's this year were the, they were the fun one to watch because it was like they're the team that hadn't been in it for 12 years and they were, you know, it's, you know Max Gorn's a fun player and there's no one to hate. You know, yeah. like I reckon you look across at the um, at the Melbourne supporters and you go, oh, whereas you look across at the Collingwood supporters, you're like, oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's that's why you get on their bandwagon. Mm. Yeah, totally. No, I was I was all in on the D's as well. I really thought they were going to. Yeah, they, they, they had the heart and yeah. then they left it behind. They got they got brutally beaten down by the Eagles. Yeah, it was hard to watch. So I like this time of year because when it finishes is my least favourite time of the year, which is horse racing season. Ugh, oh, the worst. Yeah. Oh, horse so racing in Bathurst. Ugh, so <laughs> boring. It is a real lull in the sport. I hate it. Make that noise again. <laughs> I like that a lot. It's also, I hate it because it's, you know, used to eight games a week, every week. So pretty much any time in the weekend you go, oh, I wonder what's happening in the footy. Even in the final starts, it's like, oh, nothing on on Sunday. What yeah, am I going to yeah. do? And the Talk newspapers are so thin. <laughs> Yeah. Afterwards. It's like, this, this is pointless. Mm. Yeah. That's why the newspaper industry is dying. <laughs> yeah, because the footy season only yeah. goes for 23 weeks. Have the footy season all one. year out. <laughs> no, I agree with that. I totally do agree with that. We're going to, we've, we've assembled um, maybe the an even bigger group of experts, footy experts than ourselves, and I've asked them some big questions. And the first of them is, what team do you support? And also, will my team, the Saints, ever win a premiership in my lifetime. So let's hear what they have to say about that. For better or worse, I support the mighty Cats, who didn't go that well in the finals this year. I've always been a supporter of the GWS Giants and will be until the day that I die. Um, My partner, Tim. 
as feminism. <laughs> Broden, go, you love football, you say. We'll be before any team, I love, I love the contest. I love the contest too. He goes from Melbourne. I support the guy that sells the, the hot pies. Oh yeah. I think, you know, it's only How one guy. How do you guy, support him? Financially? No, 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 I'm vegetarian. And I love the rough and tumble too. It's actually, it's actually quite hot in here. Do you mind if I just... Uh... Uh, I'm good. Uh, I go for the Western Bulldogs because I think when I was like 10, I really liked the colours red, white and blue. Why are you making a mockery of this? Pill, 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 get the pill. I go for the Gold Coast Suns. Because otherwise it was like the Werribee Tigers where I was from, which was black and yellow. Ugh. Nothing goes with black and yellow. I'm not a bee. Will the Saints win a premiership in my lifetime? <laughs> no. I don't know. You, you, you know, you're St Kilda. You got a beach. You got Luna Park. What do you want? Selfish. How long do you expect to live for? I think the Saints will win a premiership. Uh, VFL Premiership, uh, that's when they get demoted, you know, when they finally bring in that thing like the English Premier League, where the bottom teams go down. Is that a threat, Evan? <laughs> How long do you expect to live for, Matt? Do you know what? Yeah, we'll murder you in the next few minutes and then the answer will be no. Uh, will the Saints win a Premiership in my lifetime? No. There's your answer, dumb c You dumb c <laughs> There's your fucking answer, you fucking dumb c Fucking stupid dumb c Fucking answer. dumb c you seen them fucking play this season? They're a joke. Dumb c question gets a dumb c answer. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, brutal. Um, <laughs> what do you, how do you reckon we are a chance? My life, I'm going to live forever. Yeah, sh sure. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, all right. Five years. Ooh, thank you. That's so good. I'm going to give you 20. I'll, I'm happy for with that. For your lifestyle. Yeah, we're giving for the yeah. Saints. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say 30. 30? No, 21. You're going to miss them by one year. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be really brutal. Damn and everyone will say, oh, Matt would have liked that. <laughs> no, nah, what they'll say is, oh, they'll Matt was looking Matt. down. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'll be on the banner. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon I could Okay, be. well. Yeah. Anyway, we're joined now by a genuine football uh, person, mm -hmm. Alady. I don't know why I put a split there in the middle of that. Uh, but it's Steve Butlin over from England. He's been brought out. Brought out by the West Coast Eagles to chat to the players before the game. So, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure, Matthew. Thank you so much for asking me to come here and uh, talk to you and all that. But um, look, uh, I just want to say before we get started this conversation, but uh, I love St Kilda. I actually love the place. I think it's great. Um, I've come down there a few times, you know, good parties, drinking by the beach and all that. A beach is proper mint, you know what I mean? Like, it's good there with the lads and, you know, Good dance music and all that. Good live local scene. And I um, just love the palm trees and all that. It's a good tram down there as well. The 96 goes straight through there. And yeah, uh, yeah it's, you know, hats off to the uh, council down there. They've done a stellar job in fixing that place up. So um, good on the. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's great. So uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Steve. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, the Saints, Saints play out of St Kilda. So, That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I believe they train out of um, Waverley Park, which is down the what's the Eastern Freeway and all that. Yeah. Well, you go down towards the east and then turned off just before Frankston and all that. But um, you know, I, I wouldn't say they're still playing St Kilda, but I love St Kilda, the place itself. Yeah. And uh, you know, it stinks. It stinks down there, but um, <laughs> but uh, it's good good place for a drink and all that. So uh, hats off to the team. Yeah, they've done quite well. So. Uh, mm. Mm. Your, your history is playing <laughs> playing for the Eastern Lions? That's correct. Um, I play uh, down the Southeast, two Southeast League um, 
down there in this uh, Bearwood uh, just off uh, for the Eastern Lines down there just off um, so you go down um, to Ack Roads and you've got Bearwood Highway and then you hang a right <laughs> off, uh, off uh, Watergill Roads and then uh, hang a left down to what keep going southeast and uh, you'll find a road down there and you turn right and oh, you've this, got the this club is right. in Melbourne yeah Bearwood that's absolutely clear okay, oh. I mean I came over uh, for, uh, like a couple of years ago with uh, from Liverpool and um, started playing the club um, you know uh, it's good you know a lot of good yacht lads coming out there. And when, like, you, when you say football, what do you, are we talking soccer or no? We're talking like proper football. Uh, you're the one where you kick with your foot. Um, I mean, I don't understand like you guys call it football here when really you use your hands and um, you punch the ball and uh, it should really be called punchy handy footy ball. But <laughs> um, and like the way the the, um, the the referee like throws the ball backwards and all that's like you know take a guess where this is going, especially with the bounce and all that. But um, you know, hats off to the referees, they've done quite well and um, yeah, I think, you know, uh, I can't wait for the weekend, um, I'm doing some kind of talk to the West Coast Eagles, Simpson asked me to come down, you know, give him a bit of motivation and all that, I'm just thinking, you know, you got a four hour flight here, to, um, you know, just think about the beaches, I mean, St Kilda's got a good beach, but you got you got proper beaches in, in Perth and all that, but um, yeah. So what are you going to say to them? So you, how much of the game have you studied? Um, I've had a quick look, you know, um, I watched Sports Tonight a couple of years ago and um, <laughs> I thought, uh, yeah, you know, I got involved and I saw, you know, just right after Sandra Sully. Sandra Sully, absolute stellar performance, um, you know, just delivering the news and all that. And then I watched a bit of the news, uh, Sports Tonight after that and I saw Brisbane Lions versus uh, uh, the Frio, free uh, what's it, the Frio Dockers. Dockers, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's good. And so um, I was watching that and then I'm thinking, um, how can I apply what they do in their game to, to what they can do in the match for the, the big dance this weekend? And um, I'm thinking just kick the ball, really kick the ball. There's big goals there, just kick there and it should be fine. I, 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 that's what I'm going to say to the lads and I think that should be fine. I think I should do course. Yeah. How did um, you get this job? I'm really good at sending an email. <laughs> um, I can send like... Uh, I kind of, like a good signature and all that, like uh, Steve Butland uh, qualified, you know, just whatever. And, got a letterhead. Uh, got a letterhead, that's absolutely correct. Yeah. And uh, stevebutland.com forward slash motivational speaker underscore St Kilda fan. Um, and do so, you work just with sporting teams or? No, 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 absolutely not. I mean, I get, get into hospitals quite often and, uh, you know, come on, you can do the surgery and all that. Yeah. And doctors are a bit taken aback. So you're doing the motivation to the doctors, not the patients? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. The doctors need all the help they can get. Um, they're underpaid and all that. And, um, you know, going there, you know, teachers as well. Um, I go to, you know, a lot of, um, like, you know, union sites and all that. But, um, you know, whatever they need, really. You know, as long as, long as the emails get me there, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, the outfit that you're wearing at the moment, it's, is that a strategy to... Like, will you be wearing the Collingwood colours when you're talking? Absol yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm actually going to go into the Collingwood, you know, into the change rooms as well and just spook them out a bit, like a couple of bows and... Woo -woo -woo, you know what I mean? Like, a couple <laughs> like, whoa. Come in and swoop them. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah swooping season, isn't it? But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, the, I mean, the West Coast Eagles, I mean, they're a stronger bird um, at the end of the day. And... Um, uh, and magpies, I mean, they're quite shifty, aren't they? But I think the Eagles have got the edge. Oh. Thanks so much for joining us, Steve. <laughs> uh, right, uh, real pleasure. great insights into the game. And Thank hopefully you. Have a, have a great weekend. Yeah, and no, I just want to say um, Liverpool for the trot. It's exciting stuff. I mean, you know, we've got Sadio Mane when he's not banging in the goals. We've got, um, you know, Mohamed Salah and they haven't started to peak yet. And um, we've got Shakiri banging in a couple of goals. We've done really well in the transfer season. And I think uh, Klopp's really done quite well in the off season. And we've got the right players. I think we could get the pre Premier League this year, so um, pretty exciting stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah, you get any of that? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm. I agree. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> We've asked our uh, our experts now. Uh, the Black Eyed Peas have been uh, called in to do mm. the pre-game entertainment. We've asked them who they would book if they were in charge. Oh, well, I also would have chosen the Black Eyed Peas. I think they're the greatest entertainers that this planet's ever seen, and you can't go wrong with Will I Am and the, the rest. And I believe in the AFL and all their decisions. <laughs> but I think we're all excited about that moment on the grand final day when we find out what's gonna happen. What is gonna happen? 
Is he going to play Let's Get Retarded? Or is he going to play Let's Get It Started? Which one is he going to choose? I reckon everyone gets a go. You know, if you get there early enough, you can have a crack. That's what they did with Meatloaf. He was just there on time. <laughs> My tip is get it started. That's, that would be a gut feeling that I have also, is that he would go with let's get it started. I love the Black Eyed Peas, don't get me wrong, but I think Aqua would be great. Uh, you know, like a did Barbie Girl or something like that. That'll really get the crowd moving. You know who they should have got for the pre-show grand final entertainment? Who should they have got for the pre-grand final entertainment, Randy? Dire Straits. Now there's a band with their finger on the pulse. Is Ricky Lee cool to still perform it? I think so. She'd be good. Um, listen, I can never go past Angry Anderson and a bit of Rose Tattoo. Did you know the Black Eyed Peas are doing the pre-show entertainment? Yeah, I set up the deal. How did you get them over the line? I called them. Yeah. I oh, went, hey, Black Eyed Peas, yeah. would you like to perform at the Grand They're Final? They're called the, the BEPs. You call them the BEPs. Well, for those who don't know them personally, maybe, but they prefer formal oh. language when oh, you're doing sorry. business deals. I call them the BEPs. That's why you've never been able to arrange them for the Grand Final. Hey, so BEPs. long to get them here. Fun fact of uh, myself, uh, when, I, when I was in high school, I used to do the, the mid-halftime entertainment because I used to get school kids to, like, run around and like do silly stuff, you know, like hold like uh, posters and stuff. I swear to God, if you go back to the 1995 grand final between Geelong and Carlton, where Carlton won, Tina Arena is singing the Australian anthem and I'm sitting behind her and she's singing the anthem and I'm waving my hand. And I'm like, oh, I thought that was me right behind her, but it must not be me because I can't see anyone wave. And I waited and then there was a girl waving. So I'm like, is that? Because I didn't know there's a thing called like five second delay. So as you see this girl keep on looking at the, and then, and then when I finally, like it took me like 30 seconds to realize that it's me. You just see me go, yeah, <laughs> woo. And then they changed camera angles. Who would, who would you have if you could uh, choose the pre-game entertainment? Oh, why not just get Cher up there? She's in town. Is she in town? Well, yeah. She, yeah, she yeah she's in the country. Yeah. yeah. That feels like a real mistake. Yeah. Why not? And then, and then here, mm. like, get her um, like up in the in the sides of the sands, but, but everyone around her gets the sailor hats. Yeah. And then she can sit on the big cannon. And that can be like a T-shirt cannon and just shoot yeah. out hats. stuff into the audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> More hats. Yeah. It's a, it's a real theatre theatre term, audience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're a footy boy. When the players are backstage. Yeah. <laughs> In the interval. <laughs> I mean, uh, my answer for this would be the same for any question about entertainment. We'll get Tism back together. Yeah. Obviously. Well, you can just get eight guys in balaclavas and yeah. say it's Tism. Yeah, that's no. true. What they should do is have karaoke. Do you know how to do the halftime sprint and the players Get the one player from each team goes up and does a karaoke song. Yes, now and then it's a bit of an idol. We vote who's the best one, and there you're the winner. That's the that's the half time. That yeah. is not far away. Everybody has their back turned. Yep, They're good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Spin your chair around. around. Yeah. yeah, that is real good. I'd get meatloaf back. You give him another chance. <laughs> what do you mean another chance? He nailed it the first time. <laughs> that's true, mm. Josh. You're. You're, you're a guy who, who courts controversy. Yeah. I think people looking at you now would be like, oh, this guy, he's yeah. Yeah, Mr. I'm, controversy. I'm dangerous. Yeah. yeah. And you've done it again this week. I've, uh, I've learned a valuable lesson, which is don't make jokes about football to people who don't understand jokes. Right. And that might be football fans. So hi, if you're watching. <laughs> They're not watching this. <laughs> so during the week, I was at the gym and on the screens at the gym, Sam Newman was on, on the footy show and the subtitles are and he was faux retiring. He was saying, if this show gets cancelled, I won't come back. Okay. That was yeah. his thing. So Ooh. I wrote a tweet just saying, Sam Newman retires from the footy show. Why now, Sam? Why not 25 years ago? <laughs> it's a reference to The Simpsons. It's a Simpsons yeah. joke. And then forgot about it. And then some guy who follows me wrote, if only you had half the career that he had, you flog. <laughs> Flog's a great it's word. It's the bit, oh. like football fans love saying flog or dog act. They're the two go to ones. And so I wrote back to him. I wrote, <laughs> if only, if only, that was all I said, thinking he follows me, he knows yes. 
my style of comedy. Maybe he yeah. didn't didn't no. settle in. So he then wrote back, going, "How many episodes of the Footy Show did he host compared to you hosting Spicks and Specs?" <laughs> That's low blow. Well, yeah. I know the now numbers. I know the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote back going, possibly a thousand more. Yeah. He also uh, he also exposed himself two more times, mm. put Vegemite on his face to represent an Aboriginal player one more time, and groped a mannequin with a female colleague's face on it one more time too. Mm. Hang on. What's he, your point? <laughs> didn't he put his Vegemite on his face twice? You, that means you did it once. Oh. Did he do it no, twice? <laughs> <laughs> and that one time you exposed yourself was very well, funny. Well, this is the best thing about having, like, if someone's arguing about Sam Newman, that was on Twitter. I'd run out of characters. I couldn't even fit all his actual, <laughs> Mr. like, mm. all his bad stuff he did in the one tweet. I could have done, like, three or four of them. And then he was, this guy was very angry, so I, I muted it and went, oh, that'll, that'll do. And then old people like, oh, Perker here going, this is very funny. Everyone should follow this. <laughs> It, was it the really best. kicked off. He yeah. wasn't the only one. I, I had a quick look through before. Oh, yeah, lots quite of, a few. Well, then a day later, I go back on and I go, oh, I'll, I'll unmute it, see what it is. So, what pops up 21 hours later after his first one, he wrote back going, Josh Earl has not been relevant since 1981, which is the year I was born. So, he did his research. That's good. That's nice. And so, I then was like, I wrote back, good comeback. I can't wait to see what you'll write in a week's time. It should be great. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, that tweet wasn't about you. I was like, you added me and said my name. How is it not about me? And he goes, it was for the other person in the tweet. And so then I sent a screenshot right. of how to delete people from the conversations. <laughs> and uh, then I muted him again. Yeah, so. good call. Wait, so he wasn't saying you were, but he did though. Like, yeah, that doesn't yeah. Make but, it, but it's like, Josh wasn't supposed to see it. It's like oh. me, if I said to Matt, but put you on the tweet, yeah. Jez sucks. And then you saw it. And you go, whoa, how is that whoa. not about me? Yeah. Oh. This what is a hypothetical. That was a hypothetical. hypothetical. Oh. I mean, we do yeah. think that, but... <laughs> but we don't th- tweet we haven't it. Tweeted it. DMs not with you added in on it, obviously. No. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. So don't... <laughs> the lesson there is... Don't engage. Don't engage. Trolls. I was going to say don't even get on Twitter. Don't. Yeah, just, that's probably yeah. better, actually, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, it's sad to see Sam go. Um, <laughs> 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 True legend of the art of, you know, it, in, in a lot of ways I look up to him. He, everything I'm doing is is because of him. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, if shit. you're watching, this is this is for you. Wow. Is it, in, is in it because you're of talking about stuff you don't know about? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you need some more. <laughs> <laughs> Tighten. Yeah. Tighten up. Oh, I'm Tighten Sam Newman. Tighten it back a bit, yeah. Oh, I'm Sam Newman. <laughs> I like footy. I used to play for Geelong Cats a long time ago and I live in Port Melbourne. I like to drink uh, whiskey with my friends and go to the park on the weekend and kick the footy with my kids. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's, that's, very, yeah, that's, that's quite good. wholesome. Yeah. I feel like you, you could you could tour that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I reckon you could. Oh, I'm Sam. I'm going to put some Vegemite on my face <laughs> and think that it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get stuffed political correctness. Yeah, there we go. Good. That Stay tuned good. for Jez's oh, show next year. <laughs> <laughs> I went too far. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, I thought, um, you know, as, as far as Sam goes, you can take it so far, but don't cross the line. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, you know, that's yeah. that's not how he Maybe would do it. one one no, no. <laughs> All right, did, start. did you check out the Brownlow this week? Oh, no. I <laughs> Did you watch like, the Brownlow? No one no. watches I didn't, it. Did you? I didn't, yeah. All right. You watch the whole thing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> do you do your ironing at the same time or something? It's, it goes for so long and Is it's it so boring. Do you tweet at the same time? I didn't did tweet you? this year. Oh, Maybe because yeah. of this guy who having to go up me and call me a flock, but I I yeah. just stayed I stayed stum. Mm. Yeah, gunshot. There were some good moments though. The were best there? One, yeah, there was the guy who won the uh, goal of the year mm. who came on and went, oh, I'm so nervous, my heart's beating 100 minutes per second. <laughs> That's a bit Wow. Yeah. That's that a bit is cute. nervous. Yes. Yeah. And then said, you, oh, I like to take the club that. Do you think that was even a, a goal though? No, well, was... he, he mentioned in the thing, he goes, oh, when I threw, I mean, when I dropped the ball, <laughs> like, even he knew that he threw it up in the air. Yeah. Do, do you know the goal? Do, no. So he, he grabbed it. Like threw the ball up in the air and then scissor kicked it behind yeah. him. Kind of ran behind the goal post yeah. to get back to it as right. well. Is it bad? None of us know his name. What's his name, little fella? Jack. Jack. 
Little, little Jack. Fella. Little, little Jack. Little, little Jackie the boy. Is. Jack Higgins. Jack Higgins, that's right. Yes, yeah. great. All right. Evan, the, Evan behind the camera just let, let us know that. <laughs> Mark of the year. Who got it? Because Isaac got with his eyes closed. Oh. Yeah. oh, I love that. Just yeah. feeling. Goal of the year. Jack Stephen was ripped off. Did you see that goal? He kicked it out of midair on a tight angle. He kicked it. Yeah. And, oh yes. And people were like, oh, it's a fluke. And then they, there was a video of him practicing at training and nailing him one after the other. There's no fluke. That was goal of the year. Without a throw, I'm f- All right. furious. The Saints will win a final one day. You'll be fine. <laughs> yes, but did you see what Beck Judd wore? I mean, I did. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was a misstep. <laughs> <laughs> it was a misstep. So, anyway. Wow. Okay. I think they should bring back the rotisserie. Do you remember the year when oh, the you would stand and then people yeah, were just yeah. going, yes, well, I think the boys did well this year and I think I'll have to, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was the best. That's amazing and awful. Yeah, yeah. you got to check At out once. every angle. Yeah, you got to. Did you, you, you were a fan of the winner? No, you're not a fan. Are you a fan oh, of the winner? No. Who, like he's, uh, no. Look, it was just a, it, that photo of him on the, the front page I think we got of the all photo. the papers. Look at that, yuck. <laughs> yuck. <laughs> Like that, like to me, that epitomizes like everything I hate about the AFL. Right. That smug kind of, <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Like, look. Looks like he's had a Fuck your many, eyebrows. Actually, few don't. Many concussions. I have nothing to say about eyebrows. Wait, no, I mean, if you, your Sam Newman impression was pretty good. Can you give us a little, little yep. Mitchell impersonation? G'day, I'm Sam Mitchell, and I like playing footy for the Hawthorne Hawks. Tom Mitchell. Oh, is it? Sam Mitchell's the ex-player. It's so funny. Oh. You're, everyone still calls him Sam yeah. Mitchell. He yeah. must get that every day. But the best thing, his manager said if he wins, it's going to be $1,000 per interview. And then the AFL came out and said, no, it won't. You'll do the interview. <laughs> what a like, bizarre yeah. attempt. Is he not getting paid enough? He must be getting paid enough. Thousand and they're like, oh, if you want to interview us, a thousand bucks. And he was like, oh, we'll be fine. We'll yeah. just yeah. take the feed from Channel 7. Yeah. What, does, it, does his manager, is he the only person on his books? No, he's got a few. <laughs> there was a few of them. Whoever wins, they get a, yeah, a thousand bucks. Oh. Jerry Maguire sitting there going, I need this. <laughs> <laughs> need every thousand I can. Rent is due. <laughs> That's <Yuck. long. laughs> The other big award, so the Brownlow's one big individual award. The other big one this week is best on ground, Norm Smith medal. Any tips early on for that? Ooh. Um, maybe Scott Pendlebury? I think he's already won it before, though, I yeah. think. You'd win it again, though. Yeah, I know, but it's... I'm it's not say... the Barry Award. You get, a, <laughs> get one crack. I'm going to say Scott Pendlebury as well. Oh, good. Interesting. Because I oh, don't know another that? That player. <laughs> yeah. He's just going to go out there, he's going to give 110%. Oh. I think the boys are going to do a really good job today. And I, I want to just say congratulations to the West Coast <laughs> Eagles as well. That's every speech. And if West Coast win, Rioli. Because Riolis have a history of winning the Norm Smith. Ah. So it would be nice if another Rioli wins it. Mm. But do you think he could, uh, West Coast lose, will he still wins? Oh, that's possible, isn't it? Nathan Buckley did that. Yeah. They, they got very to- crabby. They used yeah, to do it, win. they used to award it before the end of the game. So oh, they used to make the decision what, early in run the fourth on and quarter. Put, put, oh, you've won this, play with that now. They had to, they, the deadline was sort of early in the fourth quarter. So they'd, they'd have the decision made, it would get passed along. And that was why things like Buckley winning it right. in that close oh. loss. So, so, which is bizarre, yeah. like especially when a game, like that is often important. Because the Brownlow used to just be, they would vote like play, the coach on the umpires would just vote like one, two, three, who they think was the best player for the whole year, not every game. And so one year, three people won it on four votes. Really? And then they tried to do a count back. You're like, we can't do a count back because we've only voted once. Like, yeah. Ah, they try. I like the, the yeah. idea that they were sitting around trying. Yeah. Let's yeah. do a count back. <laughs> <laughs> we did ask our brains trust who they thought would win the Norm Smith medal. Let's see what they said. Who's going to win the Norm Smith? I think, well, really, I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into the winning that medal. Norm Smith, Luke Hodge. Well, that is a wonderful question. One that you asked me last year. Bone. Byron Bickett. <laughs> Byron. Byron Bickett is, I think, a front runner. Byron Bickett. Byron Dickett. Byron. Byron Bickett. Byron. 
Norm Smith will win the Norm Smith medal. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's all serious. Um, uh, Teddy Whitten. Byron Pickett. Well, from watching him play last week, I reckon Jordan Dugowie could win the Norm Smith medal. If he bags five goals, ew, it's going to go crazy. And I think Mason Cox could win MVP of the NFL. Ooh. Is football about knowing players' names or is it about screaming loudly? Byron Pickett. Byron Pickett. Byron Pickett. Gary Ablett. The first one. God. I come from a family of Geelong supporters, so that's um, the God in my family is Gary Ablett. The one that was caught with a woman who had a heroin overdose. He's the hero. All right, let's do so it. Randy, come on, mate. You've been to a lot of footy games. Oh, yeah, I love me footy. What does the Norm Smith medal represent to you? It's, it represents that a bloke called Norm can get up from his, you know, life of drudgery and go out there and have an award named after him. Byron Pickett. Byron, I'm picking him. I am picking Don't. it. I said Byron. Don't. Byron Dickett. The name Norm Smith. Like, you could not get a more, like, basic name. Like, if you It's like cast, the Aldi of names. Yeah, isn't it? it is the Aldi of names. Mm. If you cast someone in a TV show called Norm Smith, mm -hmm. they go, well, that's. It's a bit. You get, a bit, get a bit more creative than that. Unbelievable, yeah. Yeah. I think Cher will win. <gasps> Cher always wins. Oh, I won the Norm Smith. Oh, did you win the the Joe Bloggs award as well. My father won the Joe Bloggs award. <laughs> I think the Norm Smith medal should always go to the best and fairest, best player in the sport. Um, and whoever the Byron, league, Byron if the league picks Byron nick it, then go for it. Did he nick the ball? He nicked it, it's in his name. Byron, Will he get picked? It's in his name. I think you upset, Zach. We've got a very special guest with us now. Uh, Mason Cox has been making waves, an American player uh, who's going to the big dance, playing in the grand final this weekend for Collingwood. We're lucky enough to have his brother, yeah. Snakebite Cox, yeah, joining us today. Absolutely. Welcome yeah, to the show, yeah, Snakebite. Yeah. Yo, that's my name. <laughs> How you doing? Thanks so much for joining the show. Oh man, it's a good time. Hey. Snakebite is an interesting nickname. How did you get that? And I, my nickname, yo. That's your name. That's your actual name. That's my birth name. Oh, it's nice. Snakebite Johan Cox. Oh, is it a family name or? Yeah, my grandpappy was called Snakebite. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know how? He got bit by a snake. Oh. <laughs> then he bit it back. <laughs> snake never recovered. Neither did he. He died. Oh, oh that's sad. I'm sorry. That is sad. Mm. You've, you've come over for, you've been here the last week or so. You, you oh, out. man. You Australian, man. I tell you what, you got a lot of practical jokes, let me tell you, huh? <laughs> like, like what? What have we got? Oh, like, I was coming in here and I, you know, I keep keep peace on me at all times. And they're like, you can't, you can't break it in here, whatever you talk about. I don't even know. But they wouldn't even let it be like, Motherfucker, I got a Second Amendment right. You know what I'm saying? We get we, That's the we right to bear arms, right? I get it, I get it, it dude. Yeah. All right. We got a photo of you uh, on the MCG before the prelim uh, with your brother yeah. there. Yeah, I, that's my sweet, sweet gauge. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you close to your brother? You you're close? All right, as close as I can be. You know, he lives over here. He too good for us. Okay, too good for 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 chicken grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> You're proud of him, though, aren't you? Oh, man, real proud. He was doing baseball or whatever it is. Basketball. And he was like, I ain't doing this no more. I'm like, what you going to do? What you going to do, Mason? He's like, I'm going go to go to a crazy land where they drive on the other side of the road. I'm going to play a game that makes no sense. And afterwards, we all sing show tunes. <laughs> and I laughed at him. I said, ha, ha. Y'all think you gonna do that? Like that place even exists. The earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you learnt the song? 
Which one? The show tune that he sings at the end. Man, the only song I need to learn is the Star Spangled Banner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> and who's the older out of you? Like, he's very tall. He's been... Very tall, yeah. You. Well, I might be shorter, but I got, I can, I can get in there. You know what I mean? He's scrappy. I'm scrappy. I'll scoot on in. I scoot on in and I grab all them chickens. We come from a long line of chicken grabbers. Right. And we would grab them chickens and we would grab them so very is, hard. Is this poaching chickens? Yeah. Oh, man. They are chickens. Okay. <laughs> we just grab them. Because he's, like, he's very athletic for a tall person. Is mm. that where he gets his athleticism from? Let me add, down, yeah, let me answer that question with another question. Okay. okay, you ever tried to to grab a chicken that has accidentally gotten into the meth lab? Oh. Oh. I bet y'all hadn't. Uh, he's right. he like road runner, like, beep, beep, you can't catch me, you know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all have cartoons down here? <laughs> Wouldn't they be a bit sleepier though? Wouldn't they be on the nod if they've been in the meth lab? Wouldn't that? Man, why are you even talking to me, dude? <laughs> so you didn't ask a question. You older or you younger than, than Mason? What do you think? <laughs> older. Definitely older. You've got the confidence of an older brother. Yeah. Man, I'm younger. <laughs> I'm, I'm 42 years old. How old's Mason? Oh, how many? I've got it here. He's 27. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> huh. His yeah. nickname's American Pie. Do you know that song? <laughs> no, man. Only song I know is the Star Spangled <laughs> Banner. I just told you, and then I went, woo! <laughs> he did already tell us that, and then he went. Man, you, just, you just need to listen, okay? Um, I'm saying something. It's the time. Well, you, I'm American, okay? <laughs> I got opinions. While you're over here, you, how long are you here for? However long y'all keep me, you know. So, uh, and um, who's grabbing the chickens while you're away? <laughs> <laughs> You've been emotional about this. I am. I just realised it. <laughs> My chickens ain't getting grabbed no more. <laughs> that is a big problem that you have alerted me, and I am perturbed at that information. Are you a married man? Are you? Look at this. I'm free and easy. <laughs> So are you, when you're down here in Australia, you going out and enjoying the nightlife? Yeah, man, I go out and I say, y'all got Facebook? <laughs> they love that stuff, man, because yeah. they do. You do have Facebook, which yeah. is wild. Yeah. I'm like, y'all got that show? Y'all got that show where they do like, they, they have law and then they got order? Oh, yeah, you know? law and order. That's the one. Yeah. 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 yeah, we got that. I love that show, yeah. man. My favorite's iced tea. Yeah. <laughs> he comes in there, he's like, looks like there's been a murder. I'm like, damn, iced tea, you good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, iced tea yeah, is yeah. good. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Snakebite, it's been so good to have you in. Man, um, it's good to be here. Let me tell you, you I want to say, I want to say, hey, if you's watching, mate, Mason, you're going to be good. You know what I mean? Oh, that's nice. And if you ain't, there's chickens. And they're grabbing. And they're all waiting for you over in this one. Highland. Highland Village? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Snake Bite. It's been a real pleasure having you in. Hey, man, you won't wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no. I got strong legs. You ever seen things like this? Boom! Wow. Oh, yeah, really good y'all. They are cut. Yeah, man, I can, I'll put you in a grip. I'll be like one of them lizards. You know what I'm saying? One of them lizards, you're like, you go in there, you're like, you look nice, and then he grabs you, and he ain't grabbing back. Yeah, yeah <laughs> big time. <laughs> Definitely following that. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Snake Bite. All right, dude. We're going to ask Enjoy. our experts. Going to ask our experts. Come on. Yeah. If they had a team, what mascot would they have for their team? I think it would just be a paperclip with a quiff, uh, because the paperclip is obviously how my body is pretty much uh, uh, represented, I think in cartoon form. And let's be honest, <laughs> the quiff needs a run. <laughs> Stretchy foreskins. Why? Because I wouldn't let anyone on the team, unless they could, get their whole fist 
into their foreskin. Why? Team building. When you see another man put his fist deep into his foreskin, you know you can trust him with not only the ball, but your balls. Fat asked wombats. Fat asked wombats, Randy. Don't look at me like that. You know that if the AFL were to introduce a team called the Fat Asked Wombats, you would support them. You know that if the AFL were to introduce a team called the Fat Asked Wombats, that would rock it to the top of the ladder. You know that the Fat Asked Wombats would take the entire AFL by storm, win several premierships in a row, and then get taken out with some sort of drug supplement scandal. Probably because they've been injecting into their fat asses. Because they're wombats, Randy. They're dirty little filthy wombats who cannot be trusted. The fat ass wombats will be the best fucking thing to happen to this game in decades, then they will finish and it'll be over. And I'll go back to supporting the cat. I, I call my team, uh, my favorite days were at university. I call my team the university, the university. Mm. Brand new team. I call my team the James Herds. He's, um, oh yeah, no, so yeah. cut that. He's all right. Is he all right now? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, put it back in. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't. No, do cut that then. Do cut that. Hey, cut. It was probably fine. He has a podcast. Is he doing all right? Then? Yeah, pop podcast? it back in. Pop it back in. It just he's depends okay. morally where you But you're... What, where are you coming from? Yeah. Um, he's one of the few players I know. I'd well, take him out then. Cut that. Yeah. Cut yeah, that. If you don't know the whole history well, like I, just, I do do you know the okay. history uh, i do yeah. Yeah, put it in. Yeah. pop it in. Yeah. like the the concept of self-esteem ah oh, mm. like i don't know how you portray that maybe like some sort of uh like a young white, white man oh yeah that's good actually yeah M maybe the platypuses and it would just be a real fucked team <laughs> just a real mix of you know like a netballer and a water polo player, <laughs> a javelin thrower. You call them javelin throwers? Yeah. A javeliner. Luke Hodge. <laughs> you did the, <laughs> yeah. The Peter Jones. They'd be Peter Jones, Luke Hodges. Yeah. I'd call them the patters, because all we do is pat dogs. You got a dog? I'm gonna pat your dog. I just wanna pat it. I call them the hand jobs. Why? I, I would I be the Roxborough Park hand jobs. Mm -hmm. Come the handies! Jobos! Come the jobos! Write it down. Well there's some there's some quirky ideas for mascots, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Pretty quirky. So bad. What would do you have a favorite mascot, Jordan? Uh controversial, but Captain Captain Blue. Oh, is that his name? I, I actually Carlton. Mascot. Yeah, Carlton's mascot. Captain Carlton. Captain Carlton. Captain Carlton. Is it? It's just list? a Captain dude Carlton. with yeah. just a dude with big muscles that has a um, that thing that goes on land and Hovercraft. water. Yeah. 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 Oh, the hover. Yeah. But they st they they crash it into the um, into the Yarra. Were they in the MCG and got all the way out to the Yarra? Is that what? <laughs> what? An, yeah, no, well, they definitely stuck it. But they used to, you know, at the start, come out cruising on his hovercraft. And then I read in the paper once that they, it was stuck in the Yarra. Because North Melbourne once got an elephant onto the what? oval and ran an elephant around. That was their kind of pre. When did they do that? 1954? In the, in the 70s or 80s. It was like, oh, all right, here's the elephant. Well, yeah. Oh, It has my nothing God. to do with North Melbourne, with the kangaroos. Wow. Did it did, I can't remember, did that create trouble? It, uh, I'm not sure if it created... Didn't get stampy or anything. No, no. no. Yeah, did we it, know about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the elephant at the, one of the elephants at the Melbourne Zoo, when they first, uh, this is years ago, so not football related, but landed oh, yes, at the airport. This is a and then, very football show. <laughs> <laughs> they, they walked it through Melbourne in the middle of the night. To, what? Get, it, to yeah. get it to the zoo? Yeah, yeah. Just easier to walk it there. Yeah. I love the olden days so much. Yeah, yeah it's great. Isn't if it? I could visit anywhere in the past. It but would maybe be the that's olden days. you know, it could have been the same year, off the plane, yeah. straight to the G, do a lap of Arden Street and then go to the zoo. Yeah. That's a fair walk too, isn't it? It is a fair walk, a lovely walk. A lovely I suppose if you're an elephant, your foot you know, your stride's probably much bigger than mine. Yeah. yeah. Probably get there much and faster. It's just good for the elephant to get its bearings in Melbourne. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they never forget. <laughs> Before they're trapped and in a small <laughs> paddock. And now they're qualified taxi drivers. <laughs> so the mascots for this week's game, 
It's the you got Collingwood. I think we've got a photo of him here. It's uh, Jock One Eye McPie. He's got two. Yeah. He's got two. Two eyes. I hadn't even noticed that, but that is true. So, so he's that is very easy to make him one eye yeah. as well. Yeah. It's actually less work to make him one eye. Yeah. I'll just put a little eye patch on him. That's a bit cute. Oh, that would have been. That'd be so cute. So he he's been named after uh, Jock McHale, who's like the record coach coach record. He's the record coach. <laughs> he's the coach record. And he's he's taken on uh, the Eagles mascot, who is Rick the Rock Eagle. Rick the yeah. Rock oh, Eagle. Hello. That is very American. And that's a very that confident is, yeah. stance, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Everything about them is a bit American, though, the Eagle. I mean, the Eagle is a very American, sort of the bald-headed mm. Eagle and stuff. But also, just the name, Rick the Rock Eagle, sounds pretty American. Who's Rick named after? If Rick Colin the, would have... I Jock think McHale, they've named him after. They've named him after the song The Eagle Rock. <laughs> oh, okay, Daddy really? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> the, the guy who plays him, though, is this guy called Simon Lumbus. And he has the, the market cornered over there. He also plays the Fremantle Docker, the Perth Wildcat, and the Perth Glories George the Gorilla. Yeah, but what does he do when. Yeah. What? He, has he, he got a body double? He addressed that. So there's a stand-in docker for the derby games. Right. But yeah. who does he choose? That's the one. Like oh, He chooses the Eagles because he was there first. Oh. Look, I, I like this that. Is a, these are the only questions that you I've know. prepared for <laughs> about the Eagles and what, mascot. And if he's got an injury, then the, he step in can step up? Yeah, I guess that's true. It's wow. good to have an understudy. But isn't that weird? It's surely the doctors should just get that understudy for the year. Yeah. yeah. I like how committed he is too, though. Like, he'll be there... Every, oh, he can't take holidays. If you're the only person that does your job, no annual leave for you. What about well, sick? I mean, next week, 40 season's over, so I reckon he could take holidays True. there. <laughs> no, but then I think he goes into, like, pre-season training. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, then basketball. Well, he's, yeah, yeah. the NBA yeah. and the A-League. He's, yeah, he's all year yeah. round. He's round. He never stops. And I, I, and I like, because I'm like, wouldn't the, the Docker and the Eagle just look the same? They, surely they know, but they're, apparently when the supporters find out, they're furious. Either team they hate him, they turn yeah. real quickly. But he also goes, oh, they're very different characters. The Eagle, I play more of a rock star, right? Whereas yeah. the Doc is more of a bad boy. So he actually, oh, he so, prances yeah. around slightly differently, I guess. Yeah. Like, no, so, so hang on, give us rock star. Yeah. Give us rock star. Rock star, but yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, uh, now give us bad boy. The Docker. Oh, much more aloof. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's that's how I'd do it. Yeah. I'm no Simon Lumbus. So. And when he plays the Docker, he has like a smoker every now and then. Yeah. Like, that's what Dockers yeah. do. And when yeah. he's a bad boy, he like he comes in on a motorbike and then yeah. just kicks the motorbike over. Very bad. That is real bad. <laughs> just a bad guy. <laughs> they, Doesn't pay his taxes. So the Docker's name is Johnny the Doc Docker. Who do you reckon he's been named after? Johnny. The Fremantle <laughs> Doctor. The Wind. The Wind. He's been named after a gust. <laughs> oh, they should have called him Gus. Gus. Yeah. Oh, they missed an opportunity. Yeah. I reckon they've, yeah. Do we have a photo of him? No, sorry. Just yeah, we do. Wind. Sure, oh. maybe we can do that in post. <laughs> Look at it there. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, yeah, there we ah. go. But I thought, I, so I, I reckon the Australian um, mascots aren't so good. So I've been looking further afield for inspiration from America, and I found some good ones I want to show you guys, yep. all right? Please. How about this one? Uh, from the New Orleans Saints, it's Sir Saint. Oh, oh my okay. goodness. He's a bit bottom heavy there. Big old he? chin. <laughs> wow. And there's a crease down the middle. They're trying to make that look like balls, right? Yeah. But I. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, he's not far nose. from Captain Carlton. He yeah. is. He's yeah. Captain Carlton with a big chin implant. Yeah. Yeah. But he also. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's a. The, the Saints. Surely you'd. Look at those panda eyes as well. Yeah. And there's nothing saint like guy. about that guy. No. There's yeah. no halo. Yeah, mm. disappointing. All right, that's yeah, a all right. No, fair enough. Yeah. We'll put a line through Where'd him. How about this one from up? the San Diego Chargers? It's Boltman. Boltman. <laughs> it looks like the mask. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the San Diego like gonna... Chargers should have to, you know, every year get a new one, like a phone charger. It's like <laughs> just <laughs> lose it. Should he should have a cord at the back <laughs> that doesn't actually yeah. adapt to anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about from uh, the college team, the Purdue Boilermakers? Here's Purdue Pete. The Boilermakers what? for a college? Like, you don't, that should be a TAFE like <laughs> mascot. <laughs> Boilermaker. It is. A real, it's a real. He looks a bit scary. Sad. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, quite sad. <laughs> no, I like him. We can't remember. Like, but that's the face you pull after you've lost a game and you're still trying to tell everyone that it's okay. Yeah, you so know. still number one. You do good. 
still number one. Nah, he's going to haunt my dreams, I think. <laughs> All right, well, you like this one, I reckon, from Stanford University. It's the tree. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? Wow. That's that an is... unofficial mascot for them, oh, apparently, okay. but is the that... college, the, the students have got right behind it. Somebody I bet they did. drew those teeth, didn't they? <laughs> Slapped on some eyes. Someone after yeah. Christmas went, what are we going to do with this? Oh, I've got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the red trackies are a good, yeah. <laughs> a good addition there. The New Orleans Pelicans in the NBA have that, King Cake Baby. Yeah, it's freaky. Yeah, that's a freaky Why is one. it not a pelican? <laughs> yeah, that feels, like an obvious that feels one, very it? obvious. I'm guessing it's a, a sponsor. A sponsor, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a freaky, freaky baby. That's terrifying. Yeah. King cake baby. Look at the skinny legs. Yeah. Like why why <laughs> stop at the legs? <laughs> they why the legs. like why have big everything? Oh, and the arms maybe. That but also yeah. yeah, the nappy, it's yeah. like that's not like the shit's gonna fall yeah. right out of that, isn't it? <laughs> I'm no expert. <laughs> that's a but poorly that's, wrapped yeah. nap. That's that's a poorly wrapped nap. That I think that that is that is freaky. This next one is from uh, I think is probably the freakiest. It's Kingsley from the Glaswegian soccer team Partick Thistle FC. Oh, okay. oh, oh yes. It's sort of like when you're a kid and you're drawing the sun in your <laughs> um, in your pictures and you put a little smiley face and some sunglasses on it. It's like that, but that kid is far. Yeah, it looks like it was made in word art. And yeah, just stretched it too much. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, it, this one's designed by David Shrigley, you know the artist? Oh, yeah. So he, he is, I think he is sort of taking the piss yeah. a little bit. Where's but the person's head? I, yeah, the, I was just about to ask that. I like love a, the Up the full top, are they head. looking through that slit? I think so. Yeah. Because, yeah, and it's like their arms look really short. Because <laughs> it's up here. I don't know. I don't like that. Well, you're going to really love this next one then. Uh, from the Oakland Raiders, it's Raider Russia. Oh. oh, hello. It's oh. like how a little kid draws a picture. They just do head, arms coming off yeah. the side of the head and legs. Yeah, where's his body? But my favourite... What happened to him? Did he have an accident <laughs> and they had to remove his body? I'm guessing it's just from football running yeah, in. Yeah, in a really big tackle. Eventually your head just gets knocked just down into your body. They say talk about AFL, like Aussie rules football in America being the toughest game because they don't wear pads or mm. helmets and stuff. But then you watch some NFL, it's like that is another level... Yeah of like recklessly tough. They hit so much harder, probably because of the padding and, and the helmet. And they're so much bigger as well. Yeah, and there's faster. Everything about it is just like more brutal. I like it because there's, um, there's a position for all shapes and sizes. Yeah. Now, you yeah. say that about Aussie rules, but it's not that way so much anymore, is no. it? You don't no, have the chubby full forward like you used to. No. Yeah. There's no pluggers anymore. Mm. There's no Scott Cummings. No, got to be, everyone's got to be muscles and... It's all athletes now. Yeah. Bring back the puds. Yep. <laughs> Let's start that. Start the campaign. Bring back the puds hashtag. My favourite mascot of all, though, is a Japanese baseball mascot called the Chiba Lotti Marines Mystery Fish. Oh, Mystery Fish. Oh, oh that's great. Wow. So it's a two-parter. So he runs around. You'll see in this next photo, he runs around inside <laughs> the mascot, but then he also leaps out. Uh, oh my goodness. And then he'll run around. But this one, they, they, they have a lot of fun with it because I found photos of him doing like press shots um, at the airport waiting for his. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> also um, out at the beach <laughs> and uh, walking the dog. Like this is a good, fun mascot. Some sort of a bone man inside of a fish head. And it's not intimidating to any of the opposition either. It's like, oh, isn't that fun? That puts them off their game more yeah. than we're going to scare you. Then, you, you, you know, that fight or flight. This is like, oh, this is fun. These Mystery are really fun fish. Team. Mystery fish. Mystery fish. It I looks like a penis, though. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. See, in Australia, the mystery fish would be seafood extender. You know, that we used to get. This what? orange seafood extender. You never had that in your fridge growing up as a kid. Just no. this glowing orange thing at the back of the fridge. No. Yeah. Oh, missed out. <laughs> Google it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to the the brains trust again, mm. and I'm, I've asked them what are their big predictions for the game, and we'll come back and we'll get some of your predictions after. But here are the brains trust and their predictions. Uh, a good time had by most, but. Not by some. A lot of tears. Just a lot of crying alone at home. Uh, maybe a wank. <laughs> I have a feeling that 
Whoever does the halftime entertainment is gonna fuck it up. I mean, it's never happened before. Uh, I think if Collingwood does win, then Eddie, because he's a guy that always thinks outside the box, Eddie Maguire will put all those players out to stud. He will force them to breed and then make sure that the father-son rule in about 20 years that they'll win another premiership. Like, it's not going to be pretty, but he'll make it happen. Uh, who do you think will win? Uh, the game? <laughs> it's going to be a tough one. Will it be the boys? Will it be the men? All I know is it's the one who says team is important. Team, 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 team. Who's playing? Yeah, it's a tough one, I think. My head says West Coast, my heart says Collingwood, and my emotions still say Geelong. I don't think that's going to pan out. Geelong, <laughs> St Kilda, Adidas. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah, I reckon you're going to bring it home. Like, and it's never been done before, as far as I know in the history of the AFL, for a single man to win the Premiership. Yeah. Um, someone who has not been involved in the competition at all. Yeah. To suddenly swing in the last minute and win. You know, but I'm backing myself. Yeah. I think you can expect a shorter line. So if you go to sportsbet.com.au, you're going to get some good bets. Oh, Broden, don't talk about no, gambling. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not gambling. I'm just saying if you were to put money oh. down, go within the line. So don't this go over 21. Right, and there's kids watching this. They'll think gambling is cool. They, they can't separate Zach. the sport from the gambling Zach. anymore now. There's not kids watching this. There's not adults watching this. <laughs> Nobody is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have any big predictions for the game? Uh, I hope Collingwood wins. I hope it's close. And um, just because I, I want Nathan Buckley to win a premiership. That's all. I think that'd be nice. Yeah. But do you think it's the same as a as a coach compared to? I reckon it's more. I reckon you can enjoy it more because you've been you're in control of everything, and you're not as physically tired. Yeah, mm. you don't have to run around get sweaty. Yeah. yeah. Oh yuck! And then afterwards, they all have to have a shower. And what about you, Jess? Drink. Who do you think's going to win? I reckon Pies will win. I reckon there'll be three streakers. Nice. Two will be tackled. One will. They'll just let continue for the rest of the game. <laughs> They'll go, we can't get him, just keep, just play on, he'll get tired. He'll yeah. tucker himself out, and he will. First goal? First goal, Dugowie. Oh, and wow. who's going to win the Norm Smith? Side bottom is really? my hot tip. They're good tips. Thank you. I, uh, potentially. It's hard to, well, I guess we'll know after Saturday if they're good tips. Yeah. Who are they playing? Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I've been talking about it for like an hour now. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, thank you for filling me. And they're from the West Coast. Oh, yes. Of, of Australia. Of Australia! <laughs> Perth! Uh, it's over there too. <laughs> I, I'm hoping for... I don't know who I want to win. Like, I, th I just feel that if Collingwood wins, then I'm not going to be able to take my dogs for a walk to the park the next day. So I'd walk my dogs at Victoria Park oh, and right. they will all be there. Yeah. Which I guess if I, you know, that could be exciting. But also, do you know what, like, do you know, like, I so want to be, ha as a bomber supporter, like, I want to be happy for, I try and think of individual Collingwood supporters that I like. Mm. Yeah. But en masse, I go, oh, hmm. Could you walk your dogs elsewhere oh, one yes. day? <laughs> I could just, no, they can just stay at home on the couch. It'll yeah, be fine. Be right, I, I don't think anyone else has the similar sort of motivation in watching the grand final and barracking for one team. Yeah. Oh, this is really going to throw out my dog walk tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I hope none of the Collingwood players are watching this and going, oh, we've got to do it for Jez, guys. We've got yeah. to lose for Jez yeah. so those dogs can get walked. But also, there's, then there's West Coast and it's, do you want, I, I just, I don't think I'm a big fan of their style of play. A bit too rough, right? And last time they won the uh, won the premiership, they partied pretty hard afterwards. So did they? That was the whole Ben Cousins era. Ah, uh, that was oh yeah. Sorry, they lost by lost to Sydney the last time they played in the grand final. Mm. Lost by one point. So they're probably out for revenge. Ooh, mm. no, they got. Oh, they, 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 they played got, against Sins and got smashed by the Hawks. Yeah. So they uh, they true. will be out for they'll be out for revenge. It's all birds, isn't it? A lot of birds, hawks, swans. Yeah, make pies. Ever think about that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? Another hot take. 
<laughs> I don't know. Look, I, I do, because you know, I was asking you before, I, I love finals time, even though it's been, we haven't been, the Saints haven't been in it since mm. 2011. I still love it, but bloody hell, I'm jealous every year. Oh, I yeah. got friends who go for both teams. I'm so, this week is sick if you're in the game. Mm. We've made grand finals, I've just never won one in my lifetime. And that week leading up is so exciting. So I'm so jealous, but I, like you, I got friends who go for both teams. But I, I think I want the Pies to win. And I think, but I think it's going to be really close. Yeah. How about this for a stat? Mm -hmm. Every time the grand final has been a replay of the qualifying final in the AFL final eight system, the result has reversed. So if that happens this year, it'll be Collingwood winning. Oh. Oh, but how go. many streakers do you reckon? Oh, I reckon three. Um, <laughs> and they'll let one of them go. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker himself out. Yeah. It's amazing to have a Works every time. Works with adults <laughs> and toddlers. He's Tucker will be tuckered out. He'll be all tuckered. He'll just, he'll just lie down, have a little nap. It's hard to run when you've tuckered it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they can't catch him still. We still haven't got your tip. What's your tip? Oh, uh, pies by two. Pies Ooh, by two. tight game. Mm. I reckon, yeah, I reckon pies by two. Three. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and can say fives by two as well. well. Highs by two as well. Oh, okay. T team. Side by side, we stick together. <laughs> hey, so <laughs> that brings us to the end of the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Where can people find you more of you? Uh, listen to my podcast, Don't You Know Who I Am. All these people have been guests on it. It's, it's lots of fun. Go to joshearl.com.au. It's one oh. of the best podcasts in the world. Oh, thanks, mate. Mm. Jess, how about yourself? Um, I also have a podcast, like every other person, uh, with Matt. And you should listen to that too. It's called Do Go On. Oh, that is a great podcast. We did an episode about the history of the AFL. We did. Listen to that if you want to hear more insights. It's one of the best <laughs> podcasts in the world. Yeah. <laughs> That particular episode, yes. And Jez, where can, where can they find you? I don't have a podcast, but I uh, do uh, work on the radio. On Triple R. <laughs> yes. Every morning, <laughs> six till nine. On the Breakbusters. Yeah. FM. Yeah. Uh, to close out the show, we got a song. I love shows that close out with a song. So mm. it's a real dream that we get to do it here at Footy Footy Foot. What? Yes, that yeah, is sorry. the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> is that the name? And uh, tonight we've got one of the best uh, singers in Melbourne, Jude Pearl, and she's going to sing the song she hopes to hear at the end of the game on Saturday, the Collingwood theme song. Take it away, Jude. Is, is there any chance we could do a, a different song instead of that? that um, we could, but why can't we just, can we just do this one? Because we've I've already set it up. I just broke up with my boyfriend and he's a big pie supporter, so I was just kind of, I, yeah, I didn't even uh, <laughs> think of it this is going to be an issue. We can do something else, but... Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. I'll just... Yeah, it's fine. It should be... That'll be fine. Yeah. I'll just... Yeah, it'll be... Yeah. I mean, you're a professional. Good old Collingwood forever. They know how to play the game. Side by side, we stick together. To uphold the magpie's name Here the barracas are shouting Maybe that was the only way they could get you to pay attention to them oh, Perfish is a cakewalk with the good old Collingwood Yeah! Footy, yes! Sing it footy foot foot Footy, footy, foot, foot, footy, foot, 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 but you can't foot, use foot, it foot, cause foot, it's copyright, foot, 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 copyright foot, infringement. Foot, foot, and if you foot, use foot, this foot, on your footy, foot, foot, we'll sue foot, you for all of your money. So, footy, foot, 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 fo